Yo, what is up, bros? We are back with the fake war mod. We are ready for mission number nine, Red Sun, which, as we've seen in the last video, is absolutely massive. Looks more like a conquest than a campaign mission. Taiwan is just the first step. And the next step is to liberate the world. Any country that has ever provoked China or illegally stolen territory is our target. A hundred years ago, China was great. And now we want to take back this title. Let's go. The central government has issued an order for you to march to the Pacific Ocean and strike any enemy of the party. The central government has authorized the use of nuclear weapons. As long as the threat can be eliminated, nothing else is a problem. In addition, the central government also asks you to attack India and Russia, although Russia is our friend. But for the greater Chinese nation, since they refuse to return the territory, we have to use force. Note that the central government does not allow you to attack the mainland of the United States. Our purpose is only to destroy U.S. military in the Pacific. Whether the Chinese nation can shine on the world depends on this battle. Attention all U.S. forces in the Pacific. The CIA stated that the CCP has deployed nuclear bombs and nuclear war seems inevitable. Please be sure to defend the Pacific Ocean. The troops of the European Union and allies around the world have stationed in the United States, just waiting for the horn of the counterattack to sound. 36 rounds for the three star, 10 generals and an absolutely massive map. But like was stated, we don't have to do anything over here. So that should shorten it up a little bit. Although like I was looking at this map, we got to go pretty much all of Russia to be able to get everything we need. Of course, we need India. Um, I mean, we'll take out the bros in Southeast Asia, but it doesn't look like we really need to. And then work our way down into Australia, New Zealand, clear out the Pacific. We need to grab Japan. Okay, bro. So I was looking at the units. These are the best tanks I brought. Let's see how many tank generals I got. I bought communist China generals and then these modern day or uh, I guess mysterious forces generals up to this, bro. I got four artillery generals and six tank generals. Um, so I guess let's start putting them down here. Our main force is going to go in to India, I think, because it's going to be it's going to have the longest job because it's going to be the one that goes all the way down to uh, New Zealand. So I would say four main tank generals could probably handle that. Should I put one in the Philippines? There's none on the northern border with Russia, but there are two in Japan. So I'm going to say let's dump two in Japan. I think that's going to work. Now about the artillery, there's none of the best artillery deployed. Just those are the best. I'm wondering if I shouldn't build. Uh, that's a level four. I wonder if I should not build the best artillery. I mean, it does look 135 attack versus 91. That's huge. I'm going to say we're going to build the best artillery and they're going to handle the Soviet Union. All right, so this should give us an idea how long this is going to take. If we can one shot everything, then it might not take us three hours. Oh my God, this is going to be. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like the way this is looking so far. Yeah, this is good. And then I'll move up. I'll move up. Should I send one? I mean, based on how we're doing, I think I could send one through Southeast Asia. I was going to send them all four through India, but yeah, I think we can divert here. Yeah, I think that's going to work. So yeah, I'll move up all these bros. I'll try to get a, a front line actually in the south. How good do these do without a general? Damn, they're even without a general. 
Yeah, even without a general, they're good. So, in the Pacific, we've got, got to take uh, Honolulu. That's pretty much all. We don't really necessarily even have to engage the U.S. Navy. I don't know, maybe just battle it out with them in Japan. I wonder how they do against naval units. Let's test it out. Oh, I don't even... Do I even need to even move the Navy, really? I wonder how... Let's see how, like, um... Damn, it looks like there's a big drop-off here between the super heavy and the heavy. All right, so this is... This is what I want to do. Let me move these around so that we can get a front line so we're not having to chase people all the way around. And then, um... Is there anywhere we can attack? We can't attack this. Oh, damn. Without generals or the good super heavies? Yeah, that's gonna suck. Even completely surrounded, unable to open the city. All right, bros, we got everybody moved up. Not much of a front yet, but we'll get there. And I'm assuming you guys don't really care about the naval warfare. So I just moved all these bros up. I, I will keep you updated, though, on the naval warfare. I just won't show it. I think it would induce um, acute boredom. Severe acute boredom. All right, I'm going to call this... These are probably weeks, not days. This is like week two of the offensive. New Delhi is in sight. New Delhi falls. Thank God that these generals are so powerful. Could you imagine trying to go through this with crapper generals? Or no generals at all? That would suck. Damn, we might... Oh! bro did not get it done somebody may be fired for this you were unable to take that that is pathetic I guess we can't always one shot everything damn And the common units are just such crap, you can't really do anything with them. Heading into Bangkok, boys! Oh, Bangkok. We can check the damage of... You know what I just thought of, though? This is not my best artillery general. It's gonna be slow in... Slow in Russia, boys. We're, we're, I guess, used to that slow Russian progress, though. It's gonna be slow push. Come on, boys! These bros up here just long for the day that they were in Bangkok. You got drafted to the northern front, bros. Alright, we got a couple decent... Bro! I was gonna say, you know, these tanks are alright, but they're not... I guess not against cities, they... Unless this one just has a crap ton of health. Alright, we are getting moved up. We're getting a little bit better looking front here. This looks a lot better. Alright, we got all those bros moved up. We are making a massive amount of money. Um, we need to move this bro in the Philippines. I moved up the naval units. I might, once we get all our generals down, maybe purchase some naval units just to keep this nice and clean. 
I don't want it to be too messy. Do we got any? Yeah, we got some airborne units. Alright, bro, so far. This has went a, a, a lot faster than I had first anticipated. Alright, week three. Alright, bro, that I forgot about the first time around. I think. Maybe I didn't. I'm pretty sure I did, though. Alright, there we go. It's open. Move up, bros. We're making short work of this area. Yeah, I had no idea that we were going to be able to crush India so quick. Finish off the Vietnamese, maybe? Got him. Oh! General cannot take out a super tank. Tier 2 super heavy tank cannot be taken out with General. All right, so there is that. Our bro down here is going to finish off the Philippines. Nice. Our bros in Japan. You know what? We did learn that. Oh, I was going to say we did learn that they could one shot all the Navy. And for the most part, they can, but damn, they uh, it doesn't look like I want to put them on cities if I want them to survive. They have taken a bit of damage. I guess we should have celebrated our first uh, Russian city fallen. We really didn't get a good celebration for that. Um, Is there anywhere we can take? This is going to be too much work, right? Even for... Yeah, that's gonna... That sucks. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen with those units, is it? Alright, can we end up with a good front here so I don't have to do exactly what I'm doing right now, chasing units back down? Alright, there it is. We're crushing it now, boys. And I think maybe even possibly... Taking on Batar. Maybe, bros. Heavy artillery? Any. No way. I'll bomb it. Yeah, we'll, uh. We'll missile technology. I'm not gonna let that survive another round. There we go. And also, I do need to look for another level 4 industrial. I don't know how many we have, but I'll start throwing down super heavies and sending them to the north here. All right, so I checked every city. This is the only level four industrial. Got everybody moved up. Week four. Damn, Andy's about wrapped up. And then we'll send him right through this clear spot here where there's not too many naval ships. And we should be good. Almost forgot about that bro again. Almost did. You know what? I think I'll send one of these back over. We do have Japan cleared now, though. You know what we could do now? We could leave, you know, they're going to keep screwing with our bros down here. We could leave one general down here and send one up into Russia or probably, you know what we really need to do? Probably send both of them into Russia. I think that's what we'll do. That's a, oh, are you serious? That bro can't reach. There we go. Japan is officially cleared. And not only do these main artillery suck at damage, they don't have barely any movement either. 
Bruh. One more, and we're switching production. That's it. Production to tier four super heavies now. I mean, look at this struggle for crapper units. One, got it. Nice. Yeah, see, we got a good front now, and there's still... I miss these units down here. There's still a decent amount of units moving up. So far, the Navy has held up. No U.S. ships have uh, broken through yet, but we still got quite a few, and they're sending a bunch of troops in. I mean, we guess we need Albert Speer here. Start building us some coastal artillery. All right, Fortress Japan is up and looking pretty nice. Week five. All right, bros in India. Guess we need to take that dock and we're good. We're heading out. There's no... I've noticed that there's hardly any air filts. We're going to have to keep, like, the crapper units moving up with us, at least a portion of them. Because we can't take anything with just air fields, because there are not any. Alright. Multiple artillery generals. That was a decent hit. Good opening, guys. Get these two bros over here helping out. And switch production to the good shit. Give me the good stuff. All right, containment is still holding. Oh, we do got, you know what we, I forgot about? The bros here. The Philippine bros. Let me go ahead and get this Navy moved up. Finish, perhaps building. Fortress Japan here. Week six, I've noticed a problem. We do not produce much industrial. I mean, I don't know if that's even enough to get a... I haven't paid much attention. I don't know if that's enough to get a tier four super heavy out. I mean, I guess we'll find out here pretty soon. There we go, got our general in there, finally. Got it. Noise. Noise, noise, noise. And these bros, see, these are good at holding coastal areas. I wish I had more cities that could produce those. There we go, Fortress Japan is up and running. Okay, what's your range? It's not very good. I guess with the tanks headed this way, I'll go ahead and send the rest of the rocket artillery to this area. Damn, there's a lot of troops, huh? Okay, but they, they do a decent clearing job. We have come up on the next city. Can we open it? No, we cannot. Not even close, actually. Nice try there. Nice try. You almost had it. That is it. Oh, look at this! Got it! Well done. We have openings, though. Coastal artillery is up. I think we'll only need it in that area. And our navy is still winning the Battle of the Pacific so far, but it's gonna hurt running out of industrials. That's gonna put a end to our mass production of naval units. Week seven. And 
this area is cleared. Well done, bros. And again, it doesn't look like there's any air fills through here, so it's... It's a bring your own crapper units. Since Fortress Japan is working out, this guy's gone. We'll get him. Uh, shit, I, I've blocked myself off from being able to land. Dude, the only way we were going to be able to hold this was with a Fortress Japan. We're about to get the upper hand here, right? As far as naval units, I mean, holy shit. They, they got some, some landing units, but as far as actual naval units, um, we're about to crush it. I don't think they got what it takes. We need to land here with some units. Do we have an airfield down here? No. Yeah, these birds are gonna have to take off then. Alright, anyway, so we moved those rows. Do we get any other cities we can't attack? Try to pop this city open again. I don't think it's gonna happen again. Crapper units living up to their namesake here. Let me vault those up. Is there any city in here we can hit, actually? There are these three. Oh, nice. Now I'm starting to see the usefulness. Now it's hitting me. Now I get it. I believe now. I do believe. All right, we got the Navy moved up. These aircraft carriers are going to be hard to deal with. And I found an airfield that just reaches the very tip here. Allows us to get a unit down on that. We need this airfield right here to help out with Australia. Week eight. We got that general. We might as well put this bro at C2 instead of coming all the way down here. Hey, at least they have good movement. Next city. Got it. Okay, yeah, I I'm liking these guys now. It's kind of a rough start with me. I didn't know if they were going to be shit, but they're good. They're good. Can we open one shot this city? Nice. Oh, yeah, we're breaking them. Final try here, guys. Final got it. Wow, that was really pathetic. Right, I think we can grab this Russian city as well. You got it, bros? Nice. Hey, we are making some good headway here these last few rounds. Navy moved up. I think we can grab. Or maybe not. Oh, yeah, we can. Nice. Tier 2 Commando. Let's see what they can do. Week 9. All right. We've got possibly. Oh, they did leave it open. Nice. Now, if we can open that city, and we can't. And we can't get this bro landed. We'll get him landed over here, I guess. Alright, so we should be able to start moving up here. Got our general landed here. Again, we got no... No air filled to use, unfortunately. And these bros heading towards Australia. Which I'm, I decided not to bring these bros along because we, we're going to be getting these airfields here. I think we've won the Pacific, right? Yeah, we've won that. Except we still need to deal with all that. But the Pacific is won. Our bros are finally getting landed here. I don't even know if I'm going to build any more of these. I think it's going to take longer for them to get to the front than the actual completion time. Oh, I dropped a bunch. I forgot to mention this. I dropped a bunch of airborne units 
at the end of last round. It's looking pretty nice now. I think that's all we're gonna have to do. Send a couple units. I mean, we don't have to grab these other cities, but I'm going to just, just to keep this looking nice and clean. Let's see if our bro can't one shot this city right here. This is probably a city with a lot of health, though. Damn, got it. Not bad. We'll send that to open up this city. We'll send this bro over here to open up. How many cities do we got right there? Maybe. Maybe send two artillery generals this way. And um, how do these handle cities? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not even wasting my time attacking cities. Week 10. There we go. Now shit's picking up. We just need those air, those air fields. In fact, I probably should before I even try to get landed. Yeah, we should probably try to get one of these. We're gonna need some naval support. Yeah, that city's pretty strong. Fortress Japan is holding out against all landing craft coming in. I need to take those docks, get some subs. Get some subs moved out. Moving on these guys. Damn, I think the war might be over before these bros get to the front. They don't have much movement either. Okay. One shot right here, bro. Nice. We'll get that bro moving to the north here. Other bro, where's our other bro right here? What city you want to open, bro? One shot that. Nice. And um, grab this city. Nice. All right. Oh, I missed that city right there. Um, I'm hoping this doesn't have much health on it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it does. We should be able to open that with just a couple units. So I realized we had taken this city here with missile technologies and I went ahead and opened every city left remaining in Russia. Although I guess I missed that one, but we're about out of industrial. I don't know how many of these we can actually reach, though. I don't think we can reach the one out here that we oh, we can. Nice. That was the main one I wanted to be able to reach, obviously, so... I mean, we're pretty much done now. In Russia, at least. Just hold off the US and Canada. And uh, finish up... Australia and New Zealand, and we're done. But we can't reach these two. Week 11. Nice. Oh, we can help this bro out. Perfect. And we got the air filled. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's... That's amazing. I for That guy being able to reach there was a massive dub. Massive dub step. Bro's got that. Okay, so I can't reach that. I've already tried. So I'm going to start building the quickest unit. And that looks like it's going to be these bros right here. We need to grab that. And then we can reach Hawaii with the air from there. And all we need, we'll missile that down. We got a fortress coming up on here. Maybe get these bros out here to start... Dealing with the heavier um, U.S. presence. Can you guys reach 
Yeah, you guys can reach all that. I well, I mean, we're done here. We don't need to take anything else. So missile technology. Went ahead and opened that up. We'll go ahead and throw down naval guns. Bring up our generals to help out a little bit, and we should be done here. Week twelve. All right, well, that's cleared now. I wonder, uh, there's no... There's no missile technology to speed things up down through here, unfortunately. Well, we might be able to bomb a few of the closest cities. That might speed things up a bit. And we can go ahead and open up these cities while we wait for this bro to get there. We just need that. All right, so we got a couple of these cities open. My missile technology will reach a few more of these, but it costs industrials and I don't have any more industrials. Week 13. That feels good. That is thoroughly enjoyable. Watching those just absolutely demol- Oh, what is this, guys? How are you gonna let that happen? Alright, so what else do we need to do here? Just finish opening this up. How long is it gonna take this guy to get here? God, it's gonna take forever, bro. Anyways, let's see what we got going on down here. We'll get this bro moving in. We'll get this bro landed next round. We got this bro landed now. Let's see what we actually need to take. This spot. Brisbane. These three areas and one spot in New Zealand. And that is going to be a wrap. Week 14. All right, what is it going to take? Five weeks to get there? It, it looks like that's how much it's going to take. Five weeks. Five weeks, bros. Well, let's go ahead and grab these. I do got a little bit of um industrials saved up now. Might be able to open up a couple more cities with missile technologies. We were able to get three cities open and that's probably going to be as much as we can do. I mean, we might be able to bomb a couple more, but there's no airfields here. Week 15! Bruh. This guy has a Hold on, how much health do you have? Oh my god! Oh my god! We're gonna have to build nukes for that guy. There's no way we can... We're gonna have to start building nukes. Hold on, I think we... Actually, you know what? I think we started out with a couple nukes. Let's... Let's test this. Because this got me worried a little bit. Yeah, let's test this out. Bruh. What the actual... So on the nuke front... This should do massive damage to him. Hopefully. I won't believe it till I see it first. Day 16. Can he reach the coast? Can he reach the dock? Nope. Right, I guess I could start making subs as well to hurt this bro. I mean, we can get a start on him, I guess, but... Man, he's... 
soaks up the damage. Yeah, we'll produce some tier 4 subs and test them out. Alright, back to Australia. Grab that, move this brew up. He can handle that. He can handle Brisbane. and these brews can head further south. And since we don't have an airfield, our capturing units. Day 17, bro has landed. What if he got nuked? In between rounds. And we had to start all over again. I would be sick to my stomach. God, I... I'm hoping that the anti-matter nukes do massive damage. They should. I mean, we're definitely going to find out shortly. Well, in like two more days? Two more days, we will know. There we go. Those two cities are taken. I grab the dock. Next round. We don't need that. Send the two bros to there and wrap this up. Day 18. We've got two good nukes. And it looks like we're going to be able to take this. Nice. All right, there's the spot we needed. All right, let's test this had better do massive damage. I mean, what? That was not the damage it said it was going to do. That was not the damage that I was told it was going to do. Bruh, are you kidding me? That's not enough damage. I did, you know, take out my own Navy. My own Navy got slaughtered by it, but there, bro, it does barely even touch us. All right, let me test out. Strafing probably doesn't do shit. No. A regular bomber? Nothing. Strategic bomber? Yeah, all we can do is missiles and nukes, it looks like. <laughs> That's unfortunate. I'm not liking that idea. Round 19. Couple more nukes up. I mean, I guess I'll drop everything I got on him. Let's see the difference in damage between nukes, though. Maybe there, there really isn't that much difference. Yeah, there's a major difference. So after dumping all nukes, he's down to 7,000 health. Which, I mean, isn't... Isn't that bad. And these bros are off to their next destination. Which is right there. Maybe I should build a couple, um... Cruisers help out a little bit day 20 and I just realized something else now there's also another problem check this problem out. I wasn't paying attention to the cost of the cost of nukes the big one cost 1200 the crapper one is really cheap but it does it didn't it barely did any damage. Day 21, three good nukes. The only other problem that sucks is 
With the good nukes, we destroy all our own equipment. That's enough. That's one other bad thing. Three good nukes and everything around us gonna be yeah. Little little bit of friendly fire. Just a little. We've gotta build those. We But we don't get any technology. We can't build those. Much health these guys. 1,900. Anyways, these bros are about to get landed. Day 22. Throwing up 50 damage. Obviously, that is not going to get it done. Oh, we got that open. How good is your movement? Not very good. Day 23. Everywhere else that we need is captured besides this bro right here. much more health do you have? 1,200. Oh, we got a... We got a big nuke. But it's gonna destroy everything we got around it. It's worth it. Yeah, that was totally worth it. And this... He can. I think we got it. I think we got him. Right here. Yep. Oh no! I thought for sure that had him. Shit. Well, back to missile technologies. Twenty at a time. It doesn't even look like his health is moving. I almost want to check his health just to make sure it's moving. I still see the little sliver of red. Let's check his health. Oh, it's at 40. All right, I think we got him. Two more of these. Got him. Can we reach? Got it. Boom! In 23. All right, up next, we've got Mission 10 Big Flood. Hopefully it is not as big as the mission we just played. Though we are playing with the US now. Oh, it's kind of like a mini portion of the last mission. It's like our counterattack. Yeah, yeah, after the, after the Chinese took all that, we're... We're coming back with a counter attack, it looks like. All right, bros, if you are enjoying this content, you know what to do. Subscribe, then it'll reach my last picture for next. Peace, boom, and out.